this text from a script that I have to make into something machine readable. Uh, that kind of work really sucks. Fortunately, TextFSM is integrated with NetMika. Uh, what TextFSM does is it takes uh, the output from the switch and will convert it into a Python dictionary for you. Um, it's a pain in the butt to set up, so let's look at that first. What we need is a, vari a variable that points to the index here. Um, there's a very good uh, explanation on how to set all of this up uh, right here. It should be in the comments. Um, I would just be showing you the Windows equivalent. So it wants us to, this is how you would do it in Linux uh, with the export command, uh, the variable, and then the path. Uh, we have to do more than that with Windows. So we will need to right click on the, uh, my computer, properties, advanced system settings, environmental variables, and then put that variable here with this path. And this is the path to, once again, uh, this index file. Um, and this is a file you would download uh, a folder and such you would download, it gives instructions, that path right there. And once again, the link to that will be in the notes. So, uh, also, you will need to run this command. Set the variable equals the path name, and once again, do not put uh, any spaces or anything like that in there, because uh, that can screw things up. So let's take a look at the program. This is the same program we had in uh, the first video. Um, the only difference is I went through and hard-coded the username and password here because I don't want to type it out every time and you don't want to watch me type it out. Uh, one other thing I'd like to go over with in this video is uh, this function that I made. Um, it will really help you out quite a bit. And I will need this to go to explain some of it. So the first thing it will try and do is connect to it via SSH as a Cisco IOS device. If it succeeds, it will do a show version. If the word Nexus appears anywhere, it will disconnect and try to connect to it as a Nexus device. You might be wondering why you would disconnect and reconnect to it as a Nexus device. Uh, because the Nexus has a different output format, you have to have a different template. Uh, for text FSM to be able to read it. So you're, if you did this command as a nexus, the output might be different. And you're just looking at um, Cisco NXOS show CDP neighbors versus Cisco iOS uh, show CDP neighbors. Uh, it just matters. Okay, so back over here. So if it is a nexus and it reconnects as a nexus, it will then return uh, the connection. If it could not SSH to it, it will try to telnet to it. If it cannot telnet to it or SSH to it, it will uh, basically throw an error and uh, put that on Put that in a log and return none. Uh, what this will do is if you have say a hundred devices that you're trying to connect to, you get through 75 of, 
75 of them and it hits one that it can't SSH to, if you just have this line here, like we have over here, with just this line, it'll throw an error and die and not do any more work. Uh, you don't want that. You just want it to uh, come in here uh, to a error document uh, issues.csv, give the IP address, say it can't be SSH2, and continue on. So that is how we are going to connect to the device. So let's go with that. We have that. And because I have used this uh, file so much, I just have it right there where I can copy and paste from, from it into here. All right, so right now it should, for every IP in that IPs file, uh, try and connect to the device. Go and show version, or show ver. There is an important distinction because text FSM does not know what a show ver is. It needs uh, show version. Here we go. So Cisco iOS show version. So it, uh, the type here that you're connecting to and then the uh, command that you're running. So show, so show version. Also we need to change this command a little bit. So use text, F text FSM equals true. And let's give that a shot. Lexic, so ignore misspellings. Wish I could get my program to ignore misspellings, but that doesn't work well. All right, so it spits it out. It's kind of messy, not particularly human readable. Let's look at another library called pprint. better. So as you can see if you just want to pull say the version out of a hundred machines all you would do is add all hundred IP addresses in this text document. The text document would the program would then for each device each device in that list SSH to it run that command and print out the output. So you could say, e, uh, give it the program, the IP address of every 3750 you have, and easily pull out the version that each one of them is running. Um, let's take a look at a different one. So this is just show interfaces, it's pulling down all of the interfaces on the device, uh, SVIs, uh, physical, etc. So 
but it's giving us a lot of data that we don't really care about. I don't. It's a test box. I don't really want to see anything that's down. So let's only see interfaces that are up. Pull port in output if port. Status equals up colon print pull. Oop. p print pull because we want it to actually be readable. So we can see that there are only two interfaces up. One of them is I'm blind. Ah, interface VLAN one and interface uh, gig one. Um, yep. I hope that has been helpful. Thank you.